All right, listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Good. Now check your objectives. You'll notice that your current objective is highlighted. In addition, the location of your current objective is marked by the star on your compass. As you approach your current objective, the star will toward the center of your compass. That's it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run the obstacle course. Go, go, go! Martin, good to see you. They got your sorry butt here Move too, it, huh? Move it, ladies! This is not your Aunt Fanny's dance! Jump over him! Come on, Elder, get the lead out! Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. Sergeant, fire up those machine guns! Those are five rounds, boys! Stay out! Stay down! Climbing ladders, Private! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's gonna take you through weapons training. The rest of you ladies, stay right here. Eyes up, Private. I'm up here, in the observation tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table. To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you are carrying. Approach the fence and fire six rounds at your target. Your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crosshairs. Fire six more rounds at your target, in different stances and while moving. You will be more accurate while not moving, and in the crouching or prone positions. These skills could mean your life. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left, move to the fence, and fire two rounds at your target. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. Alright, I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while aiming down the sight. Alright, Private, move on to the next area. Exchange your Springfield for one of the Thompson submachine guns on the table. Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons, besides your sidearm and grenades. Fire ten rounds at your target, first from the hip, then aiming down the gun sight. Compare to that, get used to firing Take a few steps while aiming down your sight. You're going to lose In close quarters combat, you can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Now switch weapons, Private. Unless you're as dumb as you are ugly, it may dawn on you that each weapon is good for different situations. Make the wrong choice and you could buy the farm. Fire three more rounds at your target. Outstanding, Private. Proceed to the next area. Pick up the frag grenades from the table. Pick them up. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire. Move behind the concrete post. Move down to the left, then the right. They'll protect you from the enemy.
If you get hurt, grab one of those health kits and use it. Don't be a hero. They will save your life. Our last station will be explosives. Pick them up, partner. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Place your explosives on the cinder block wall. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown off. Fire in the hole! Good job, Private. Well done. Keep your weapons with you and clean at all times. Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord, the air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H-hour D-Day, seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword Beaches. The Airborne will be landing six hours before H-hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H-hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. Passen Sie auf! schon einmarschiert sind. Wir werden es als Erste wissen. Sie kommen mitten durch saint mary glise Falsch. Der Lama Roosevelt und Vetter Churchill würden hier niemals angreifen. Ist zu weit weg von Deutschland. Hat zu einig. Ah, da sind diesen Sekretär. Kommando und Bunker 6, geben Sie Fliegeralarm, der Feind kriegt Luftangriffe. 
explosive and take that block panzer out. setting up a defensive perimeter. Keep your guard up and your buddies in mind. Good work. Up! Get up! Wake and shake it! The Germans are the streets! Mortars! Incoming! Mortars! Incoming! Alright, the mortars are taking a break. Johnson, go have a look. Right, Captain.
They'll be back. Lewis, hold the shirt. Everyone else, follow me.
Over here! Get in the car! Okay, Captain. Assuming we get back to Battalion in this rolling junkyard, what do I tell him? Hand this directly to Major Shepard. Tell him Baker Company has secured the town, but won't be able to hold it long if we don't get relief soon. Got that, Sergeant? Oh, yes, sir, you bet. We ride through enemy lines in a French tin can. Want to paint a bullseye on it, sir? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that won't be necessary, Sarge. So unless you've got a better idea, or a radio that works, carry on. Good luck. Oh, man, this is nuts. I can't believe we're doing this. Believe it, unless you sprout wings and want to fly. It's only six miles, Private. Just shut up and do your job. Steal a car? Only when I need one, Sarge. Martin, come on! An elder, hurry up! Work it, Sarge! I'm working on it! Quit working and get done!
in the car. Mark is cover up. Third squad, get your 30 cal to cover our flank. Second squad, follow in reserve. I got point. Elder and Martin on my tail. Everybody set? Let's go! Third squad, draw their fire from the left. Second squad, hit them from the right. Go, go, go!
soon. Move in and secure these buildings. Now, let's go! Jerry's outside. Grab that MG42 and use it. First platoon, listen up. Sergeant Moody owes me 50 bucks because it looks like Operation Overlord was a success. Our British and Canadian friends took most of their objectives. And except for Omaha, all the beach landings went pretty smoothly. The airborne was misdropped everywhere, but the men formed mixed units and accomplished most of the airborne D-Day objectives. I am extremely proud of all of you. As you know, Sergeant Moody and Privates Elder and Martin broke through German lines to get word to battalion headquarters. If it wasn't for their success, HQ probably would not have sent the reinforcements that helped us hold St. Maraglis. At headquarters, Moody, Elder, and Martin were assigned to silence a German battery at Braycourt Manor and faced an entire platoon of Germans with only a handful of men. Well, it seems that someone at command noticed your actions. 
Our unit has been detached from the rest of the 101st so that it can be used for some special missions behind enemy lines. I suggest that you brush up on your German, gentlemen, and enjoy your R&R &R while you can. There's an MG-42 on the left, with a guardhouse on the right. They didn't spot me. Let's hope. Captain Price and Major Ingram? Probably in the big house up the road. Martin, you take point and knock out that 42. Harding and Brooks, go get the truck. Meet us at the front of the chateau. Everyone else, follow Martin. Move! Good work, Martin. Everyone breathe deep, catch your breath. Now let's do it all over again. Cover me! Get in there, grab any docks, knock out the communications, and meet back up with us. Sergeant Moody and I will find Price and Ingram.
job. All right, we're moving on. Don't stop now. Price and Ingram are behind these doors. Stand back, we're gonna blow them! Well, goodness me, Americans. Made quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite all right. Uh, I can still walk. Captain Price, Captain Foley. Where's Major Ingram? They moved him to a camp. Not to worry, I overheard where. Truck's out front, sir. Excellent. Help Captain Price out the window. He's been hurt. Let's pile in. We're getting out. Captain, what about Major Ingram? We'll be back for him. Get in. Okay, Martin, we're about ready to ram the gate, with less than 10 minutes from your first shot to pull this off. If you take any longer, they'll be sending someone to rescue us. You take out the front guards, concentrating on the machine gun nests. Once the gate is down, get in there and find the Major. Then rendezvous back at the truck. Alle Mann auf ihre 
Squad, move up! Yanks! Now there's a spot of luck. Come to collect me, have you? Lead on, lads. No time for handshakes and hellos. Move on! Base of fire! <laughs> Gentlemen, thus far you've been training hard at Exeter for a special purpose. This special purpose, obviously, has something to do with the capturing of bridges. What I'm about to explain is top secret material. If any of you blokes mention the word bridge outside of this room and I hear of it, and I will, it'll be RTU'd on the spot. The invasion of Europe will take place across five main beaches along the Normandy coast of France. Elements of the British Second Army will strike at gold and sword beaches, along with the 3rd Canadian Infantry Division at Juneau. To the west, the Yanks will take Utah and Omaha Beach. Now, the entire eastern flank of the invasion will be exposed to a German counterattack from the Calais region. Should the Germans break through, they could very well have tanks rolling through Sword Beach and all the way down to Utah, wiping out the entire beachhead. Our task, along with the rest of the 6th Airborne Division, is to secure that flank at all costs by capturing and holding key bridges along the axis of approach. D Company's objective is this bridge over the Khan Canal. Under cover of darkness, the gliders will put us down in the field next to the bridge. From there, we rush the pillbox and prevent the Germans from blowing the bridge. At least one Bren gun will provide a base of fire while we flank it from both sides. Once we've captured the bridge, we hold it until relieved, which could take several hours. During that time, we may find ourselves using the Germans' own weapons against just you familiarize yourselves with the captured ones we have on base. Good luck, and Godspeed. Dismissed! Bye. 
of all. Oh, for God's sake, Jack. It's the biggest forest in Normandy. Pay attention. I am. It's not there. Well, perhaps they moved it. By my calculations, we're on course. You'll want to bank north two degrees. At five, four, three, two, one, and bingo. Two degrees start on to course. All right, everyone, brace for landing. Bloody hard landing, eh? Is everyone all right? Mills! Yeah, I'm fine. Just great. But no! Let's go! Let's go! Move! Move! move. Come on! Sergeant Evans, glad you're still with us. We're in luck. The Germans haven't responded to our stellar landing. Find a good spot to suppress their bunker. We'll advance behind your base of fire. Jürgen, hast du dort drüben auch was gehört? Es ist nichts. So wie immer. Bestimmt nur ein Stück von einem britischen Bomber. Die formatieren... Ah! Captain, we salvaged the area. 
Apart from some medical supplies, all we found were a couple of rifles and several Panzerfausts, which are woefully inaccurate. Thank God we still have that flak gun. We can use it to hold the bridge until our relief shows up. <laughs>
that's the last of them. Excellent work, lads. Bloody well done. All right, settle down. We've got new orders straight from SOE, as well as two new transfers from the 6th Airborne to help us carry them out. They were highly recommended for this operation as a result of their actions on D-Day. Captain Price, Sergeant Evans, welcome to 3 Troop. Now, let's get down to business. These are the locations of the major hydroelectric dams in the Ruhr industrial region of Germany. Their main purpose is to provide electrical power to the factories and cities throughout the area. Last year, a clever fellow by the name of Dr. Barnes Wallace created an odd sort of bomb that was specially designed to breach these dams. Using these bombs, the dam busters from 617 Squadron successfully breached the Mona and Eder dams, causing extensive flooding and damage to the industrial heart of Germany. The bad news is the bastards have already repaired the damage done, and Bomber Command wants to have another crack at these targets. This is the Eder Dam. We're to make a night drop on this one. From the DZ, it's a day's tab through unpopulated areas around the dam's reservoir. Dropping in any closer is impossible, as the enemy flak is simply too concentrated around the dam itself. Our mission is to locate as many of these anti-air guns as possible, wipe them out so that the bombers can make their runs. This building at the foot of the dam houses the electrical generators. Our orders are to blow this structure in the event that the bombers fail to breach the dam. We set the explosives on a short timer, then get the hell out of there by truck to a nearby airfield and appropriate suitable air transport from the enemy. You all know what to do. Check and test your magazines, zero your sights, and review the maps and photographs carefully. We'll receive signals and embarkation details within the next two hours. Good luck. MG 42 Kopf.
don't bloody believe it. We're coming up on that airfield where the rest of the team has assembled. They radio that they're finding us an escape plane. Okay, we're clear to approach. Evans, you and I will need to get below decks and find the armor before we can cripple the entrance. Stick with me, and unless your Germans are true, let me handle the talking. Waters, you stay here. Be ready to leave at a 
moment's notice. Um Erlaubnis, um an Bord kommen zu dürfen. Erlaubnis erteilt. Dürfte ich wohl Ihre Papiere sehen? Wo ist Fregattenkapitän Schmidt? Er musste zu einem dringenden Treffen mit Admiral Dörnitz. Alles in Ordnung. Willkommen an Bord. Get below to that hangar. Dürfte ich wohl Ihre Papiere mal sehen? Ich muss das überprüfen. Einen Moment bitte. Ich habe einen Offizier hier. Er sagt, er habe Papiere. Hallo? Hallo? Grab a weapon and explosives, quick! The ship's toilet is blind these passageways. Place your charges as we go. This place will be crawling with trucks.
abteilen! Feldwebel, übernehmen Sie mit drei Männern die Flanke! Ich gebe Ihnen den Schutz! the captain. Damn, he's a very fun Let's get the hell out of here. Comrades of the Soviet Union, almost one year has passed since the German invaders set foot upon the soil of our motherland. They have advanced deep into the Soviet Union, capturing city after city, raping, murdering, and robbing the Soviet people. Although our situation grows desperate, we have one last hope of defense. The city that bears our great leader's name, Stalingrad. Comrades, many of your countrymen are already there, defying the Germans at every step. Soon, you will stand alongside them, and you will not fail to defeat our fascist enemies. No one shall take even one step backwards. Commissars will execute cowards on sight, giving faithful soldiers a chance to do their duty. The Motherland is counting on you to achieve victory at Stalingrad. Comrades, this day will be the proudest day you have ever lived. You will fight the fascist Nazi invaders with all your strength. For each and every fallen Soviet soldier, you will make them pay with ten of them. There will be no mercy for defeatists, cowards, or traitors. Anyone caught deserting his post will be shot. Remember great comrade Stalin's order. Not one step backwards! You will be well equipped for the battles that lie ahead. You will have food, water, weapons, and plenty of ammunition. What do you suppose the Germans have? Their supply lines are stretched too thin. Their dash to the Volga has left them without the means to bring us a proper fight. Superior strength in number and our boundless courage. Victory is ours. We shall stop the fascist invaders. There, at the Stalingrad. 